Hey YouTube, it's Tooty. We're back with a video. Channel update. What's been going on? A couple of grabs. Uh, some nice grabs, nice upgrades. And um, a bit of advice. A bit of a think. A bit of a shuffle round maybe. Who knows? More importantly, if we're back. Yeah. Uh, external influences deem this necessary. Hope well guys way. and uh, everyone's doing alright. Looking forward to Blackpool. Blackpool is really in its head. What are we on? Probably just over a month, give or take. Uh, really looking forward to that. Uh, probably not as much for the, the sort of trade. I think we're in a bit spoilt now with these retro markets. Uh, just make you realise how poor Blackpool was last year. I think, you know, I, I'm not going to go over it again too much, but I'm pretty sure there's only like about four retro stands and I mean you look at the retro market, there was bloody hundred, well, it was probably at least hundred or if not more. Um, so yeah, you know, for me, it's managing expectations for Blackpool. It's it's all going to be about meeting the lads and the lasses if there's any there. And uh, yeah, having a tune wag, you know, and, and, and relaxing, chilling out and just enjoying myself. Uh, if it's anything like it was in terms of, you know, the uh, the sort of traders and, and, um, and stalls as last year, then this will probably be the last time I go. Uh, Again, I've mentioned that before. May look to go uh, north of the wall uh, to the one in Glasgow. So it'd be interesting to see what that one's like because I think that's towards the summer, isn't it? This summer. So I'd really be looking forward to seeing what the uh, northern contingent think of that one. So, anyway, other than flying dust, other than that, it's just a general general um, update video, really. A few pickups, really nice pickups, like I say. And I need some advice, advice and guidance, perhaps. Mm. Hmm. Right, a few, ah oh shit, I forgot what his name is now. Uh, I'll try and remember it. From a fellow tuber via Facebook. Was it Facebook? Yes, he messaged me via Facebook, but seen this via YouTube. Retro Mickey, I think. Retro Mick MG, I think. Ah, oh, shit. If it's wrong, I'll put it down here. Anyway, he messaged me very kind. We did a trade eight, uh, a while back for um, some GameCube stuff. Top bloke. Uh, he very kindly sent me the Hunt for Red October Manuel. So that gives me a full box, complete box. The camera's up there somewhere. I will put that in there. Absolutely brilliant. Many, many thanks. Anybody's got any um, loose manuals, I'm always on the lookout for NES manuals. Uh, even if you know just to put into the, the sort of sleeves and, and whatnot so what can you say you know awesome stuff uh, and <laughs> other than that there's I mean I could probably show this it's it's sort of got from the charity shop it's a duplicate sort of box system I thought for the price uh, I'm going to grab it uh, I'm not going to dwell too much on it it is a boxed PS2 the buzz edition yes I did pick with one of these up was it this year? I think it might have been this year as well. Uh, this one's slightly more complete. It did come with a sort of semi, it's been open, but it's a blister pack, memory card. You've all seen the PS2, Slim PS2. Uh, but this one, the buzz stuff comes in this like little black box. So the other one didn't have that. Uh, so don't need two copies. I'll just try and make up the best, the best set out of that. Uh, I think it's only 20 quid for that. Which you know you probably think well, it's pretty expensive. Uh, there was a loose PS1 in there. I think that had all the hookups. And that, I mean, you know, box because the PS2. I showed you, sorry. You've seen it all. The PS2 is a box within a box. It's, just, it's a box within it. Um, fucking, this is a mess, and it? it's like a fucking cat there. Look, it's box within a box. Um, so yeah, I mean that's worth twenty quid all day long. That's all right. Find them for that. So I don't need two of them. Definitely don't need two of them. Oh. Mm. Often be oh, hang on. There's one more thing here. I need to pop that one. Oh, from charity shop. Uh, quid, I think it was. Was it quid? Or was it forty nine p? Shit. Might be forty nine p. I can't remember. Largo and Winch. <laughs> I don't think I've got this. This is a bugger to get hold of on the cube. Uh, I 
don't even know, because I'm looking at the owls up there. No, we haven't got Lago and Winch. Uh, 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 uh. I'm guessing pretty much the same as a Q version. Oh, really nice inside. Yeah, you're like a James Bondy type character. I thought, I'm sure it's 49p, you know. I'm sure it was. Lose my mind. More beer. More beer, dear. Mm. Okay. Off of my favourite places. You probably notice has curtailed somewhat uh, since uh, the cube collection has been completed. I will be doing a vid. I'll be doing a full cube vid. Um, I'm still piecing in the odd manual, which, which is all I'm essentially missing. Hopefully, I've got a few more coming. Uh, I'll put the link. I put the link. I'll put the list of missing manuals uh, in the description. Uh, I mean, like I said before, there's, there's one or two there that I don't think anyone's going to go. Oh, yeah, I've got this one. Frog two being one. Gotcha Force being the other. I know Dunk's got uh, a Gotcha Force one, but I think he's got a complete and box Gotcha Force. So clearly, he's not going to want to split that. Uh, there's a few odds and sods in there, a few sort of low-hanging fruit to, to coin a bullshit bingo corporate phrase. Uh, but yeah, and there's the odd one I might have made if I really was that desperate, buy the game again. Um, Dragon Ball Z2, look at there, Ratatouille. Ratatouille could be quite a tricky one to get. It depends, I don't know. If I can get them cheap enough and, you know, and whatnot, then I will do. Uh, but yeah, still, you know, always keep one eye on CEX. Uh, managed to grab this for... The last of the outstanding credit I had. Um, quite a tricky one to get hold of. Even on eBay. You don't, it doesn't really pop up. I think there's one on there in a minute from uh, in Italy, I think, 60 quid. This is 40 notes. So this is uh, probably the longest title in the whole world. Uh, it's a Shin Megami Tensei, Devil Summoner, Radu Kazuna Hona versus a Solus Army. Completely fucking butchered that name. But yeah, it's probably the longest... Fucking tight, yeah. Subtitles and scrolling text. There you go. Shin Devil Summoner. Redo Kuzunaha versus a Soul's Army. Looks like there's three different sections. But I mean, it's, in, it's in great condition. You always do worry about these high end games and the come from CEX. But it's weird because the high end ones do tend to be in quite good condition touch wood and all that you know they, they you know I don't know what it is I'm guessing people that have these in their collection and they take them in have obviously looked after them and you know they know the value of them uh, from that aspect but you know it's a nice one nice game mm. so go to the meat and potatoes of this video so we have a full Mass system, power, uh, power collection. Not in the UK, full power collection. We are missing manuals, as you all know. Um, as you all know, when I did the, the obviously the retro market, sold all my duplicate tat and stuff, and all kinds of weird and wonderful odds and sods, and I raised you know a good bit of money. So, <coughs> excuse me. Some of that I see, I there's still an outstanding uh, amount that I owe to um, Jimbo Monkey Spaz which that's all been settled up. So, yeah, there's little things that got eaten out of it for different odds and sods. I'm not sort of saying I needed to pay bills. That's not the case. It, that was a bill that I was outstanding to, um, to Jim, uh, Jimbo. Uh, but I was very adamant that it wasn't just going to get fretted away because you do tend to find that, you know, you're, before you know it, it's depleted down to next to nothing. You wonder where it's fucking gone. So I thought, no, I'm going to make sure I get somewhat substantial with it that you can see, um, you know, obviously, the other flip side of that is I do want to try and put a bit of that away uh, towards Blackpool. Uh, but I was, like I said, I was adamant that it wasn't just going to be uh, fritted away and I wanted something to sort of show for it. So, case in point, I did do a video on this when I got it. Uh, um, but, you know, I thought I'm going to do another one because something else has come as well off the back of it. You'll see what I mean in a minute. You probably know where this is going. Uh, essentially, I've upgraded two top end uh, highly sought after mass system games there's probably another one that I could do with upgrading and I'm almost an hour and about that I don't know yet so 
basically, in a nutshell, I've got a complete, fully boxed, not partially boxed, not half boxed, a fully bo fully boxed, completely boxed with manual buggy run. In one of my bigger sleeves as well, so it's so much easier to get stuff in and out of. Honestly, I can't tell you. And I won this on a bid. See, I made the video already and I fucking forgot. I won it on a bid. I think I, I basically, um, it is in great condition. Normally I wouldn't bother going over these too much, but obviously this is a worthy title um, to be showing. Yeah, I kind of won it on a bid last, you know, wouldn't say snipe because I don't sign up to them sites, but yeah, it was last minute. I think I basically put in the maximum bid that the last one sold for. And I I think it was probably a couple of quid underneath that. Uh, not cheap, about 130 quid I think, give or take, which is a lot of money. Uh, so the copy that I had, or I, well, I've still got, is this one. So that's the OG. The, the, uh, to be honest, uh, James redid the cover for this one for me. Um, my mate, Irish Nerd Life, Alm U2, Alan did me this age, one of these ages ago. Um, I think his ink must have run out of the back because the back went a bit rrr, But the spine and everything else was fine. But James, Wasabi, Wasabi James did it again for me. <clears throat> did a wonderful job on it. So, there we go. Can you tell which one's which? Bloody hard, isn't it? The only way I can tell is because that one's slightly heavier. <laughs> but no, you can, it, you know, up close with the, with the eye, you can sort of see the difference. But uh, yeah, you, you know, I mean, as as a, as a make do, that this one was fine. So this is just, it is essentially a cart only. I've put a, which you some of you probably would have seen, on the Sega Galaxy um, Facebook page, essentially saying, I've got these duplicates. Is anybody interested? Uh, the car and every cat's all, all it's all legit. It's, it's what I've had. Uh, again, like I say, on the shaft, on the spine. It's not, you know. It looks, it looks the part. <clears throat> so, if, so if anyone's interested in that, let me know. Shit, I put in the wrong one. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's like I say. I was very adamant that I wanted to. This is the. This is the, the, rich, the proper one, the original, um, the, the complete one. Uh, I was adamant to have some to, to show for the for day's work, if you like. Um. <clears throat> and I knew the thing I bought, so like I say, that's up for grabs if anyone's interested in that. And then the other item that I bought, <clears throat> again, is an upgrade. I've got one more game that's probably in a similar state. So again, with some, some of the pennies, this one is probably not as great, but I got this for a fucking good price, I must admit. I was amazed that the guy who accepted it. It is Masters of Combat. So this was from Greece, I believe. Not the musical. <clears throat> and the only thing letting this down is there's a bit of writing on the manual. Which, to be honest, I can live with. I put a really cheeky bid in for this. There's a tiny little bit of writing at the back as well. Uh, those that have probably been, I don't know, if you've been on the eBay and you've been watching this game or whatever, you would have seen this. But basically, I've got this 100 quid best offer I think it was 100 quid and then it was like 8 quid postage or something like that that's a bloody good price for this game um, I was about I, I was amazed I was absolutely like I say ordinarily guys if I hadn't had that money from um, from doing the, the market I would have been happy sat <clears throat> with the games I had because they play the fine you know so my copy I 
other copy that I did previously have, Masters of Combat, is this one. Which you might look at and go, fucking hell, dude, that looks like a right old bag of shit. Uh, it, and to the untrained eye, it may look like it's a, it's, it's a bit hooky. I did when I first had it, I was like, oh. I'm pretty sure I said this in the video when I, when I first got this one. Uh, but this one is an Aussie Soft release, so it's the Australian one. And as you can see, there's a, it looks like it's been cut. It's not. Basically, Aussie Soft games were. Because they only had one language, they were, the, the boxes were, were thinner, were actually slimmer. So obviously, the, the, the fat of the spine, the more it's going to push the edges out. Uh, so this would, would have sat in a slimmer box, so these edges would obviously would have come closer. This is, has got some damage in it. You can see there, there's a little bit of scuffing at the bottom. Um, and then the car, the Aussie Soft carts have different texture. Again, I, I looked at this back in when I first got it, and since obviously getting this one and looking to sell this one, I just thought, let me just double check. And there's a there is a post on I think it might be Retro Collect, and someone talks about the Aussie Soft games and the texture of the car because they sort of said it it's, it feels odd. Obviously, the label looks significantly weird and different as well. But not only that, the backs are just Phillips screwdrivers, and it just looked really really dodgy, but. I don't know if you can see it there. It's just say Aussie Soft, and you can say it's Sega of Australia. So basically, they just did their own thing. There's, there's no way that's a repo. It's not. It's not repo because I've opened it. The, the PCB is all legit and everything else. It's just the way they did them. Uh, by all accounts, actually quite hard to get hold of um, some of these Aussie Soft games because uh, I say that, that it's just only in Australia. But it's the game it plays. It does everything. It just says on the tin. It'd be interesting to actually have or get hold of um, an Aussie Soft case, Master System case, because, like I said, by all accounts, they are they are slimmer. They're not like the Sega card slim, but they apparently are significantly slimmer, which would explain why you get the sort of the edges. Um, this is obviously missing the manual. It's just got a poster in it, and again, apparently the manuals were almost like paper, folded paper, so everyone starts. It picks up an Aussie Soft game. Just worry that it's 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 a fake <clears throat> because of a the size of the insert and b the fact that the manual was like folded over. And the cart feels different. It feels cheap. It's just the way they did them. So yeah, that's two duplicates. Two you know quite sort of after titles. You know I bought them because. Even though they're not complete, it's still technically part of the collection. Um, you know, you've got very varying degrees of what people would class as a full set. You know, I could sort of say I'm going to have a full set of N64 games, and it'd be only cart only. Still makes it a full set. Bloody camera. Still makes it a full set, there's no doubt about it. Um, some people might not realise, I know a lot of people always refer back to Stu Ninja Bear, who's, who's back on the tube, good to see him. His Master System Mega Drive, they, they all weren't complete. It, it'll tell you that as much as you know, some of his Master System games are missing manuals and stuff. But it's a full set, it's a full set. But like I say, for, for the, to the right person, if they're looking, fucking camera, if they're looking to, uh, you know, have a make weight, which is what I did with these basically, I made, yeah, they're, they're a make weight. Well, like, just play the game, you can tick them off, you've got them in your, in your collection. You know, until such time as you, you, you're fortunate enough to to bear to upgrade them, which I did. Bloody camera! Um, I think, yeah, you know, I had no problem with it. But yeah, very happy to uh, to pick them two up, upgraded them essentially. It just, <laughs> I know it seems a bit odd. It's like why? Because I just wanted to. I, I, you know, like I say, I was very conscious that I didn't want the money just to sort of disappear. You know. With, on stuff uh, and me and not having anything to show for it because essentially I sold my own stuff at the, at the event you know it wasn't like I've magic the stuff up it was, it was stuff I had oh. so <gasps> oh dear me so a bit of advice advice and guidance 
that I'm after. Now I've, I've, I've touched on this before, I'm just putting these back in these, I'm just a weird like this, I've got to put them back in these little sleeves. Um, <clears throat> I've touched this before, space. Now as you can see behind me is a hulking great 32 inch CRT, Sony Triton, which is a, it's fucking great, it's awesome, <clears throat> etc. But it takes up a huge amount of space. Not only, <clears throat> excuse me, for my footprint, but for me, it's because I don't, I haven't got any walls. Just, uh, basically, it's it, I lose this space above here, above it. So <clears throat> I looked at the uh, frame meister, the, the RGB frame meister mini, or whatever you call it, two hundred and thirty odd quid or fifty quid, or it depends where you buy it from, and if they include tax and all this shit, it's a fucking chunk of change. I spoke to speaker to Scott Sega Saturn lad about it. Um, because I know he recently got one. I know Daz Connor's daughter has got one and he swears by it. Um, but I wanted a, a kind of not sold on view. Um, because I know that Daz would, would you know, has got no issues with it at all. I remember that Scott first had it, or you know, he did a few videos, he weren't, wasn't sold. So I just said to him, said, oh, How are you finding it now? Just to get a sort of a different spin on things. Um, and equally now, once I think he's got to grips with it, he said it's hands down the best thing he's ever bought. <clears throat> so, you know, that being said, it's it's clearly does what it says on the tin. Hmm. But it's 230 quid. It's a, you know, it's a fair chunk of change. So, I've been thinking, I've been humming, I've been hiring. So, what I've looked at is there's this little SCAR RGB to HDMI little box, <clears throat> which funnily enough has popped up on the Sega Galaxy forum. A guy's asked probably a very similar question or querying it as, as to, to, to what I have, which has uh, reignited my thought process. Uh, I'll put a link in here somewhere of what, the, what it is, like the eBay site or whatever it is. Uh, there's been loads of people review it. I know uh, one of the big ones is Aaron, Adam Korolik. Uh, most of you will probably know him. Um, he was absolutely amazed by it. There's, there's, I think old Game Tech 81. There's a few that I've watched and everyone's been actually. You know what? It's not. Fucking camera. It's not a bad bit of kit. So, I am kind of toying with the idea of purchasing one. About 25 quid. So, it's not going to break the bank. It could be 25 quid you might as well just throw down the bog. But for me, because I don't run any real 16-bit stuff, I don't run any 16-bit stuff, other than, I suppose you could probably, yeah. PC Engine is 8-bit, 16-bit, but, you know, other than... Okay, let's, let's, let me rephrase this. All that's running through this, and I've run through the list, is Cube. So the Cube, I could technically um, get my cracked American Wii and run all the cube games through um, component. The Saturn, which is RGB. Duo R, RGB. PS2. PS2 I can run through component as well. And that's it. It's only M5. So the, the, the real ones is the PC Engine and um, the Saturn, which will be SCAR. That's it. The cube I can swap for a Wii, which is component. And the PS2 I can run via component. So then what I'm thinking is if I put a shelf, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to shuffle them back to get another sh bookshelf in, but I could put an, um, an LCD, or yeah, be, be LCD, into a shelf, sit it on a shelf, and then run the consoles into that. I mean, it's probably not gonna give me a great deal more, but it'll give me the height, the distance above it, you know, a couple of shelves or whatever above it. Or well, maybe, no, actually, yeah, probably would, and, and then maybe some below. So I'm not running, you know, the old Mega Drive, blah, 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 because that's all via the Retro, all via HDMI anyway, on TV over there. So that's the thinking. <laughs> Has anybody got one? Has anyone used one? I know that they're not in the same league as a Frame Meister. I'm not expecting it to be. You know that that kind of quality, but it is only the two systems, <clears throat> and I know Adam 
in his video he ran the Saturn through and he was more than happy. Um, I'm pretty sure that the PC engine would, would, wouldn't fare too badly either um, via that method. So yeah, that's the, that, that that's a possible plan. So we're looking at thirty odd quid for the for the box, and then probably another twenty five or thirty quid for another chamfer unit. So I've got uh, another panel somewhere in in the garage. Yes, the garage is locked the TARDIS that I can utilise, reuse. But yeah, it'd be nice to sort of see uh, real world, real people's experiences. You know, because I know again watching some of these videos, a lot of people sort of said I've had all these. You know, upscaler boxes from China and all shit. This, that, da, 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 da. Um, but this one, apparently, I don't know. It's been made a little bit more robust, a lot better. I think that video from Adam's about two years old. Um, I don't think these boxes were necessarily designed for retro video games. I think they're designed for um, uh, DVDs and stuff like that. Apparently, <clears throat> but anyway, if anyone's got one. Or has got any experience of this particular model? Because I know there are slight variants, so it's, this is the one I think that everybody else in their videos is referring to. Again, refer to the picture, <clears throat> then let me know because it might be something that I'm going to seriously look at. Um, because yeah, I, I've got very little other options at the minute. Purely from a space perspective, this is um, obviously as you can see, gadget racers. Yeah, no, it doesn't look a great game, does it? <clears throat> it's it's like micro machines. I don't know if you ever remember the penny race used to put penny in and pull them back. So it's it's kind of like micro machines esque. Um, but anyway, I digress. So that's it. That's it, gang. I'm uh, nothing else to say. If anyone is interested in those two Master System titles, let me know. Um, like I say, I have put some out on the Sega Galaxy forum. Just kind of like. Gauge, gauge and interest you know they're not perfect I, I know that but for someone like as I use utilize them they're a very good stopgap uh, that's it I've got a few other bits hopefully winging the way to me um, and other than that I don't know maybe the boot is might start up by what we on maybe next weekend uh, I think could be we'll see turn up the weather's doing take it easy YouTube and I'll speak to you soon bye bye